welcome back so today we are going to do the lab 17 lab 17 is very interesting it's about rainbow tables and if you don't know rainbow tables uh, rainbow tables are basically uh, used uh, to crack passwords and they are basically a dic dic not actually a dictionary of words but dictionary of hashes so what we're gonna do is it's not going to be happening on a windows machine if you want to follow along here are the instructions and then some here and finally here <clears throat> the this side of the it's not turning any interactive I'm gonna pause the video here let it uh, do whatever it needs to be done all right so I had to actually <coughs> refresh the page now <coughs> we're gonna full screen this uh, this blow it up and okay basically uh, if I can show you here this is what it's saying I read I s click the check it wants me to check in a few seconds <clears throat> all right I have the green now let's go and get started start menu in Windows PowerShell oh. okay so start menu and windows powershell so this is a server environment all right so we're going to create a rainbow uh, table that would be cd c no backslash lab files Rainbow crack dash one point seven dash win sixty four and backslide. <clears throat> so Windows uh, is not case sensitive. That's why I took the liberty of writing everything uh, lowercase. So rtgen dot exe md five lower alpha one space three space zero <clears throat> one thousand space one thousand zero so it's done <clears throat> again uh, we can see that there is very less uh, <clears throat> documentation like what we're doing what, what what each command is doing it's just a guesswork or you have to go read up uh, that's not really cool with u35 if anybody is listening over there they need to be do, doing better with these uh, uh, their labs all right so i ran all these three and last one is pretty easy it's sorting it and the other one is basically uh this one it's creating it's generating so let's go ahead oh actually for a change they have it here so this one basically allows you to create the rainbow table this command shows you the pre-computation of the rainbow table that's here like algorithm so first we created the rainbow table the other one basically went and s showed it's a lower alpha come and uh, it's consisted of these characters and this is their data and hexadecimal probably <clears throat> all 
not the MD5 sum. MD5 sum. I don't see the sum. Oh, I have to still run these two commands. Okay. Okay. Let's do cat in grip.txt. Now, why did I use capital E? For hashing, if you are hashing something, even a space, a uh, slight, uh, um, <clears throat> like lower uppercase, they completely change the hash value. So that's why I am using the uppercase, making it exactly so I don't have a different uh, hash value. And notice this, the hash for this is CVE. The reason is plain text length range is between one to three characters. I think that's what's happening. So I'm gonna just, oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, it's cat command. So cat command basically reading the file. We still have to uh, encrypt it, MD5 sum s. E uh, is for encrypt and file name is encrypt.txt and my MD sum is where it is right there am I able to copy it out of there probably not I will try my keyboard shortcut and see if it works it didn't <clears throat> so I will have to type it <clears throat> all right so actually it was written here as well now in the Windows PowerShell does it say to check it no in the Windows PowerShell window execute the final and last command that is going to be R crack dot exe is that a dot there or yes that's a dot <coughs> switch h md5 md5 sum noted in step what for it what kind of command is that Okay, I think this one is just for me, but the other one is to run the <clears throat> Okay, what is it saying? The future use. Okay, let's go and noted in step 4a so step 4a was basically this all i have to do is copy it can i copy from within machine to machine yes and there you go <coughs> excuse me so results cve right there so that cve is basically right there on the top when we read the file it gave us what inside the file is now we're running the hash uh, crack it and, and it's not reversing the hash there is no way of doing that basically what it's doing is in rainbow table they have like hashes of known um, words like together like this characters and arranged like all the arranged characters are basically becomes words so that's what it is very interesting <clears throat> oh I, it actually said over here so my guess was correct all right i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one